Well, we got something here that might make a fair few of you happy. Because we have all seen over the years the clear and obvious bias favouring the left in our education system, which, let me tell you, is a detriment to this country because they are tasked with educating the next generation, which, let me tell you, as it stands, is not looking good for the most part. But the coronavirus, it seems, might not only be destroying the EU, but also the woke universities, who are now begging for money, which, I'm happy to report, appears to be falling on deaf ears when it comes to the government, meaning, like Richard Branson, they've asked for more and been told no. With the Financial Times reporting today, universities' plea for £2 billion bailout falls on deaf ears in the Treasury. Whitehall is divided on whether the sector needs special treatment despite warning of bankruptcies. Well, perhaps they can remove some of these gender studies tutors. They might save themselves a little bit of money. Let's be honest, it's a wasted course after all, along with the countless other ones I'm not even going to bother going into. We all know what they're like, and I'm sure you will agree they won't be missed if they had to shut down some of these universities, or cancel the nonsensical woke courses that they run. The Treasury is resisting calls for a £2 billion bailout of UK universities, insisting that they should not be treated differently from other hard-pressed industries, raising fears of bankruptcies in the higher education sector. The Treasury's opposition to a sector-specific bailout for universities, which was confirmed by officials from three Whitehall departments, comes despite increasing warnings that some universities face crippling losses because of the coronavirus crisis, which is like I've said many times, yet more begging, begging, begging for money. It seems like everyone and their mother has got their hands out asking for money from the government. And let me tell you, it's not generally coming from the people of this country, it's coming from the businesses and the people who are already rich and realistically don't need the money. Richard Branson, for instance, these UK universities, I bet they're sitting on a fair old chunk, and we already see in my video yesterday, Sadiq Khan said they're going to run out of money in a week, when they've actually got 1.2 billion sitting there. Enough for about two months, at least one month anyway. So, complete nonsense, which, possibly, the universities might be talking here. Not that it really matters, the taxpayer shouldn't have to bail out every Tom, Dick and Harry's business at the end of the day. Its resistance has caused division in Whitehall, as well as objections from senior figures in the university sector. Well, imagine my surprise at that. They warn that a bailout is essential to protecting the national research base that will play a key role in the post-coronavirus recovery phase. Yeah, well, I'm sure all of them won't go down. And plus, you can always slim down the universities. How many of you are running pointless courses and employing pointless members of staff, like the NHS do. We all know about the NHS's equality and cohesion managers, or whatever they were called, so I expect the university has got plenty of them. Let's be honest, they're likely more woke than the NHS. Universities have asked for a doubling of this year's research funding in order to plug an immediate £790 million shortfall this year, and the forthcoming hit to their budgets caused by the expected collapse of the international student market, which is worth £6.9 billion annually in the UK. Oh, I'm pretty sure even once this is done, the international student market will still be wanting to come to the United Kingdom. It wouldn't matter what's going on over here. Most of the people in the world would love to come and live and study and work in the UK. What do you think part of the reason this country's problem with immigration is because of? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work that out. The proposals from Universities UK, the sector's lobby group, promise to cut costs, accept restructuring and rein in predatory admissions policies that risk leaving less prestigious institutions facing bankruptcy as a result of students being poached by better resourced academic institutions. Which is something I'm really getting sick of at the moment. There's always a lobby group here, or a lobby group there, trying to extract money from the government. And if it's not a lobby group, it's the Mayor of London, or Richard Branson. Maybe they should stick their hands in their own pockets first, and then start asking the taxpayer after. 
Because we all know these people ain't going to do that. So why should we fund them? Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, is expected to review the UUK request in the coming days. However, Whitehall officials, while stressing no financial decision had been made, said the early warning signs were there that the Treasury is not receptive to what is viewed as university's special pleading. And nor should they be. The Treasury has indicated that universities should first avail themselves of the government's furlough and continuity loan schemes before seeking any further bailout in keeping with the message communicated to airlines this month. So, like I said earlier, exactly the same as the Richard Branson situation. Straight to the government begging for a bit of what they consider free money, rather than going down the routes that have already been provided, even if they might well be useless. We don't know, but they're still there, and by the sounds of it, they haven't even bothered trying to take them yet. A cross-departmental meeting in Whitehall last week showed broad support for a bailout including from the Departments of Education, Health and Work and Pensions, according to a person on the call, but the Treasury refused to be drawn. Well, of course they will. A bunch of snivelling shit weasels in Whitehall all want their little friends in the universities to continue with their woke nonsense, brainwashing the country with their lunatic leftist propaganda. Let's be honest, we all know what the universities are like at the moment. A senior official in favour of a bailout argued that rescuing individual universities as a last resort was not realistic. The Treasury's faith in their ability to carry out highly targeted just-in-time interventions is extraordinary in current circumstances, the person added. Well, of course you would be. This is the Ramonian civil service who, let me tell you, was backed up by a lot of the academics that make up these universities. So thanks, but no thanks. These universities push leftist propaganda on us and try to force us to act like them, call us racist bigots when we don't listen to them, and have obviously gone against the wishes of this country for at least the last four years in relation to Brexit. So... If they're going to go under, let them go under, is what I say. The university sector is continuing to press the Treasury, arguing that its proposed rescue package is balanced, will protect against bankruptcies, stabilise admissions for students, and will use only research funds already pledged by government. Labour is also applying pressure. Imagine my shock on that one, and has called on the government to guarantee that no university will be allowed to go bankrupt, arguing closure would hit jobs, social mobility and institutions that train staff who have proved so vital during the coronavirus outbreak. And let's not forget, Labour need them pushing the left-wing propaganda so they can try and get some voters on board, because as we found out at the last election, most people in this country do not trust the Labour Party and will not vote for them. Because as we all know, the Labour Party do not act representing the people of this country. And the rest of the article there is just them moaning about the government not giving them money, which, let's be honest, is not the government's money. That is our money they are trying to take there. Much like Richard Branson, they can take a running jump, if you ask me. And I hope the government continue on the line of just saying no, deal with it yourself. Much like many small, medium and large businesses have had to do, that have received no help. So, these universities, in my opinion, definitely don't deserve the help either. The coronavirus has showed us the Olivers of the world, though, I think you will agree. It's just constantly, please sir, can I have some more? That is all we are seeing now. And, in this case, it's the universities. And with the Treasury saying no, I have got to say, makes me feel quite good. Let's clear out some of these woke lunatics that are brainwashing the kids of the current and next generation. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot and I will see you all in the next one.
There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.